administration have cast some blame for the rise in prices on oil companies. They have pushed back. Demand has risen. We've had the price shock of Russia invading Ukraine. There are various factors that go into the price of oil, um, but we're not setting that price. Analysts say while the pain is very real right now, they believe prices will eventually go back down. When you look into the forward markets in terms of where the market is trading oil and gas, months from now or folks there's a ton of views about the fourth stimulus payment that you're going to want to know in this video so continue watching so folks here is the news that you have to know about the fourth stimulus payments because there's a ton of views to cover if support is growing for more stimulus checks this year economists have even confirmed that the vast majority of americans should receive additional stimulus by the end of 2022. So while the crisis began early 2020, the aftermath is still hanging around with the inflation rates affecting so many Americans. The government actually started sending out payments up to 1200 bucks, and followed by 600 and now we're needing $2,000 stimulus payments just for people to get by. And according to a recent survey, the government immediately following the second round of payments, Joe Biden came into office and launched the America Rescue Plan and provided $1,400 payments. So millions of people, lawmakers, and Congress continue to advocate for another round of relief. Because due to higher than average inflation rates this year, according to a survey, 62% of Americans are in favor of more stimulus in 2023. While the majority of the population is in favor of relief, 16% remain undecided and 22% are not in support of stimulus. Due to higher than average inflation rates, Americans have had to cut back their spending, and so many states took it upon themselves to provide this stimulus aid. As of now, 19 states have approved a bill to offer tax refunds to the residents before the end of 2021. So these payments range from 50 to 3200 bucks just for eligible people. And now, folks, many qualified Americans in the state of Alaska will receive a $3,200 direct payment. The Alaska legislature adopted a budget earlier this year. It includes $3,200 in payouts for qualified people by the end of the year. And according to the Alaska Public Media, the first round of direct payments has actually began to arrive in bank accounts this past fall, and paper checks are also continuing to be sent out. State officials have said that increased payments are necessary to do and deal with inflation and rising energy prices and gas must be put down. Some states are obligated to disperse any excess funds, with residents instead reinvesting the money into the economy. So when it's artillery to just determine whether states will have access to another stimulus package this year, many of the states are already doing their own thing. Employees in a school district in Maryland can expect extra cash because of the state and the city. Officials have said that around $1,000 is going out on December 16th to people who qualify for the stimulus. And Rhode Island is just a second sending a one-time payment of 250 per child. Households can receive a payment of up to three dependent children for a maximum of 750 bucks. And even the child tax rebate, everybody, began distribution in October. Taxpayers who filed their state tax turns on extension by October 22 or received rebates in December of this year. And earlier this year, the Oregon legislature approved a one-time $600 stimulus check. Taxpayers got a lot of money this time. It's back this week and it's facing a packed to-do list. There's a lot that lawmakers have to accomplish before January. Hopefully they can get the job done this time. For weeks, the White House has been urging Congress to pass more crisis funding, but the lawmakers have, tried, have been trying to approve this aid and there are disagreements appear about how to be paid for and the Republican push to add amendments addressing some of the legislative priorities. Several weeks ago, Democrats and Republicans had already reached an agreement on this, but much less than $22.5 billion that the White House initially requested. This would actually be paid for using unspent funds the different agencies received as part of last year's American Rescue Plan. Some Senate Republicans, however, refused to move forward with a vote on the aid unless lawmakers considered another stimulus bill. So folks, President Biden is hoping that President Biden is doing a good job on the Ford stimulus check. Tell me what you think in the comments. We have a ton of good news about the Ford stimulus payment, so continue to keep on watching. $1,200 monthly checks have been finally been approved and proposed for Americans, including Social Security, SSDI, and SSI. Okay, so millions of people in the United States that earn under two hundred dollars could get monthly payments of $1,250 very soon, while the expanded monthly child tax credit payments were temporarily paused back in December 2021. Lawmakers want to send out more stimulus relief money, and now Utah Senator Mitt Romney has an idea for another beneficial program. Senator Romney proposed a new program called the Family Security Act, 
which aims to reduce child poverty by providing similar stimulus payments to the child tax credit. Eligible families will be provided with monthly payments of $350 for each child under the age of 6 and $250 for each older child until age 17. Now this is similar to the child tax credit which actually gave families $300 a month for children under 6 and $250 for children between 6 and 17. The bill is now being negotiated on by both sides of Congress and we can see big action being taken by Congress this year. So, the deposits of the economic impact payments appeared in some bank accounts uh, two weeks ago. For those in poverty, though, bank accounts are a luxury they cannot afford. And that leaves the question, how do they get their money now? Genesis Neros reports. Legal Aid Line, can I help you? When it comes to stimulus checks and those in poverty, Regina Campbell doesn't know what to tell people to expect. Shocking news has been released and there are several new plans put together by Republicans and the Democrats and they're trying to get things done for the American people. Now there has been no shortage of everybody of uh, Republican lawmakers bickering over Social Security in recent weeks because as Republicans and Democrats have pointed out, fingers over which party wants to fix the program and which one wants to undermine it. Well, there are several problems with this. Because during a Senate Finance Committee hearing, the Senate Republicans accused the Treasury Secretary of lying about the President Biden's willingness to work with lawmakers on Social Security reform. That followed a similar exchange between Republican Mitt Romney and Shalanda Young. Now, in this separate hearing, Romney said that she was simply wrong and not honest to suggest that current members of Congress want to cut off Social Security and Medicare. With so much hostility between the political parties, it's hard to see any hope of bipartisan Social Security reform that is. The only solution with even a whiff of bipartisan support is a proposal to raise this full retirement age for Social Security beneficiaries. That proposal announced last month is being pushed by the Cassidy Senators and the Louisiana Republican and also the Senator Angus King, a Maine independent who, causes, uh, who caucuses with Democrats. The two are leading a group of legislators that aim to raise the full retirement age, 70 to 67. Raising the full retirement age is seen as the, one of the ways to lessen the impact of the coming insolvency of uh, Social Security's old age and survivor's insurance, which finances about 20 to a quarter percent of uh, Social Security benefits it is. The fund is expected to run out of money by the middle of the decade, meaning that Social Security will have to rely solely on payroll taxes for funding. That could be a big problem that people run into. Now, raising the full retirement age isn't a good idea for so many people, too. Because it does have bipartisan support among the registered voters, and though not necessarily raising all the way to age 70, a 2022 survey of more than 2,500 registered voters found that 75% of respondents favored gradually raising the age from 67 to 68, a move that would eliminate an estimated 14% of the funding shortfall. Now, support was even uh, split, evenly split between Republicans and Democrats, but other solutions with bipartisan support among voters include making more wages subject to the payroll tax, increasing Social Security withholding, and reducing benefits for the high earners. But for now, much of the focus is on whether to raise the full retirement age. 